Patients care bundles for prevention of healthcare associated infections and MDROs. Check if there is a written policy regarding patients care bundle for prevention of CALTI. By checking if hospitals implement a competency-based training program for insertion and maintenance of urinary catheters. And check if infection prevention and control practitioners perform documented auditing rounds at least once a week to assess performance of healthcare workers for insertion and maintenance of urinary catheters. Based on the auditing rounds by the infection control department, Feedback is provided to healthcare workers regarding their performance and check if corrective actions have been implemented. Check if the urinary catheter insertion is performed in a complete aseptic procedure, including antimicrobial hand washing, making sure all required supplies during insertion are sterile, such as the urinary catheter, urinary bags, gloves, solution, and single-use gel, and making sure the perineal area is cleansed with skin antiseptic solution and with sterile draping. Check if the hospital applies proper urinary catheter maintenance practice, including securing the catheter up to the patient's thigh, fixing the urine bag below the level of the urinary bladder, maintaining a continuous closed drainage system, antiseptic cleaning in the drain port, and routine neonatal hygiene. The nursing staff in the department perform daily reviews with the treating physicians regarding the possibility of discontinuation of the urinary catheter. To check if there is a written policy and procedure concerning patients' care bundle for prevention of CALT through documents. Patients' care bundles are groups of generally three to five evidence-based practices that, when implemented together, improve patient outcomes and reduce CALTI. Reviewing policies and procedures for prevention of catheter-associated urinary tract infection make sure it is comprehensive and contains all details of the procedure during insertion and maintenance. The policy should include but not restricted to these following points. Policy should be clearly written with rationale to each bundle element. The policy should clearly describe where it is applied, such as in the ICUs, surgical wards, medical wards, etc. It should also define how data on care bundles will be collected, analyzed, interpreted, and disseminated with necessary correction actions if needed. It should also define how data on care bundles will be collected, analyzed, interpreted, and disseminated with necessary correction actions if needed. Policies should define the roles and responsibilities of the infection control department and any other concerned units. Infection control practitioners ensure that all elements of care bundles are implemented correctly in daily rounds. Ministry of Health Hospitals reporting data through National Electronic Surveillance Platform. All elements of the policy must be fully applicable and within the scope of the hospital's services and are based on scientific references that are approved by the Ministry of Health and are signed by authorized personnel like the owner of the policy, hospital director or medical director, and concerned department, and it is approved by the IC committee, and it is valid and updated within two to three years and whenever it's needed. To assess if a hospital has a competency-based training program for insertion and maintenance of urinary catheters through reviewing documents and staff reviews. Review the following documents, training programs, or annual training plans for insertion and maintenance of urinary catheters and a competency assessment checklist to ensure all healthcare workers are skilled and competent and review the training content to make sure it is based on an updated latest guidelines and ask for percentage of coverage.
through staff interviews, ask the infection prevention and control team about the implementation of the competency-based program, ask about the targeted healthcare workers and units, and the frequency of the training activities, and the training activities have to be at least once per year, and also ask about the role of nursing and training departments. Check infection prevention and control practitioners perform weekly documented runs to check healthcare workers' practice in insertion and maintenance of urinary catheters through reviewing documents, observations, and staff reviews. During audit rounds, ask about patients of urinary catheters and review their files. During rounds, you can assess implementation of best practice of care of urinary catheters by observing whether the urine collection bag is kept below the level of the bladder, observe if the catheter is properly secured, is in a continuously closed drainage system, and how often the urine bag is emptied, and that it follows aseptic techniques and appropriate PPEs. In staff interviews, you can ask about how the data is collected, documented, and validated. You can also ask the infection control practitioners how frequently they perform rounds to check for compliance with, unit, with urinary catheter Review if infection prevention and control department provides feedback to healthcare workers regarding their performance and insertion and maintenance of urinary catheters through reviewing documents and staff interviews. Review bundle forms of CALTI, and bundle forms should be standardized adopted based on GDIPC updated guidelines, and review bundle compliance rates, and ask for documentations for corrective actions and improvement projects if available. In staff interviews, you can ask the infection prevention control team about the data analysis and feedback mechanism to healthcare workers. You can also ask about the corrective interventions if bundle compliance is low. And during audits, ask the head nurse about feedback from the infection prevention and control team. Urinary catheter insertion is performed in a complete aseptic procedure, including antimicrobial hand washing, making sure all required items are sterile, and making sure the perineal area is cleansed with skin antiseptic solution and sterile draping through documentations, observations, and staff interviews. During audit rounds, ask for patients on urinary catheter and check their files for all relevant data. In observation, observe that the care bundle is implemented properly. Check for the position of the urinary catheter and that is proper, properly secured. And observe if staff are following aseptic techniques and PPEs during insertion and maintenance. In staff interviews, you can assess the understanding of healthcare workers about the bundle of urinary catheters. Ask staffs about elements of urinary catheter insertion bundle and maintenance, and when was the last time they had training. Ask about the availability of supplies of urinary catheter insertion and maintenance. Ask staff to perform antimicrobial hand washing and don surgical gloves. Ask about aseptic techniques and maintenance of sterile fields during insertion. Check if the hospital properly applies urinary catheter maintenance, such as securing the catheter up to the patient's thigh, fixing the urine bag below the level of the bladder, maintaining a continuous closed drainage system, and antiseptic cleaning in the drain port for urinary drainage and routine natal hygiene through documents, observations, and staff interviews. During audit visits, check if the urinary catheter maintenance checklist is complete with all relevant information.
observe implementation of care bundles for prevention of CALTI. Check patients for position of urinary catheter and assess the following. If it is secured to the patient's thigh, if it's fixated below the level of the bladder, if there is a continuous closed drainage system, and if the collection bag is emptied regularly using separate collecting containers for each patient and avoid draining or to touch the collecting container. Check for routine hygiene and whether staff are following aseptic technique and PPEs. These are the most common sites of contamination and require extra attention. Interview staff to confirm their in-depth understanding of care bundles. Ask them on how to empty the collection bag, about availability of supplies, ask them to perform antimicrobial hand washing, and about aseptic technique. Every day that the urinary catheter is in place, it increases the risk of CALTI up to 7% per day. So the nursing staff review with the treating physician regarding the possibility of discontinuation through documents, observations, and staff interviews. CALTI is directly related to the duration of catheterization. The most effective strategy to prevent CALTI is to not insert the urinary catheter. During audits, check urinary catheter patients' files and check their physician's daily progress notes for removal or continuation of urinary catheter. In staff interviews, ask about the importance of daily reviews for needs and removal on a daily basis. Ask about indications for placement of urinary catheters and ask about alternative methods. In CNAPSI module, there is a written policy and procedure concerning the care bundles and prevention of CNAPSI. Hospital has a competency-based training program for insertion and maintenance of central line. Infection, pre infection prevention control practitioners conduct weekly audits, and the department provides audit feedbacks to healthcare workers and provides corrective measures. Central line catheter insertion is performed under ultrasound guidance, aseptic techniques, antimicrobial hand washing, and maximum barrier precautions. Prepare the skin site with an alcoholic chlorohexidine solution and a transparent chlorohexidine dressing. The nursing staff scrubs the hub for at least 15 seconds and perform daily reviews with the treating physician. In VAE's module, check if there is a written policy concerning patient's care for prevention of VAEs. Check if the hospital has a competency-based training program and check if infection prevention control practitioners conduct weekly audits and check if they provide feedback to healthcare workers and apply corrective actions. And check if the hospital applies the bundle of care for management of ventilated patients. In SSI's module, check if there is a written policy for prevention of SSIs. Check if the hospital has a competency-based training program. Check if the infection prevention control practitioners perform weekly audits. Check if the department provides feedback to healthcare workers and apply corrective actions accordingly, and check if the hospital applies the bundle of care for prevention of SSIs. In MDROs module, check if there is a written policy for prevention of MDROs. Check if the hospital has a competency-based training program for prevention. Check if inf infection prevention control practitioners perform weekly audits. Check if the Infection Prevention Control Department provides feedback to healthcare workers and applies corrective actions. Check if the hospital applies bundle of care for prevention of MDROs. In Dialysis Event Module, check if there is a written policy for prevention of dialysis event. Check if the hospital has a competency-based training program. Check if the Infection Prevention Control practitioners perform weekly audits 
and check if the Infection Prevention Control Department provides feedback to healthcare workers and applies corrective actions accordingly. Check if hemodialysis centers apply bundle of care for prevention of dialysis events.